In a video that I posted the week before this, I tested NVIDIA Shadowplay, OBS Replay Buffer, and no replay buffer to see what was the most performant and what sucked. In this video though, we're gonna be going over NVIDIA Shadowplay, Metal, Steel Series, Moments, or is it GG? And Overwolf's Outplayed Software. If this video helps you choose what software you should run in order to get the maximum performance while still being able to clip your epic gaming I'm not going to say that. Oh my God. If this video helped you, then make sure you hit the like button down below and sub. It does help out the channel a lot. And do join the Discord if you have any questions about any of these softwares or just about any performance issues in general. You can also ask me live on Friday at 6.30 p.m. CST and Sundays at 1.30 p.m. CST, where I do my PC Sherpa live series. Also, since I forgot to mention this, here are the GPU bound settings that I was using. It was essentially my normal settings without post effects at 1080p. And then for CPU bound, it was the same settings except with FSR Ultra Performance, FSR 2.2 that is. All the testing was done on factory at daytime in the same spot. So if you understand what's going on here, here's the benchmarks. You'll be able to tell for yourself. CPU benchmarks are up here, GPU are down here, and you'll see what was best or worst with this. But for those of you who'd like some context, long story short, I set all of these to be as equivalent as I could, and I'll expand on that later, in bitrate, frame rate, and resolution for the actual captures. And also I made sure that they were all using the same encoder. They were all using my GPU's encoder, which is the NVENC encoder. The ones with CPU at the end are CPU bound tests, meaning that in these tests, I was found by my CPU, my GPU was not hitting 100% usage, meaning that that CPU was the bomb making factor. And then of course down here for GPU, you can probably guess what this is. This is where my GPU was at or very close to 100% for the entire test, meaning that I was GPU bound for these benchmarks. They were all on factory and each lasted roughly 30 seconds. If you're wondering why there isn't a ton more of them, it's because I restarted benchmarking about three times over to change some settings and to verify. Uh, and so I did partial tests within there and, and that's why there's not a crap ton of data here. But long story short, if you'd like my summary, obviously having no sort of clipping software is the best. NVIDIA Shadowplay was pretty solid along with Metal and Overwolf's Outplayed. All of these were relatively close to each other and I was pretty impressed with their performance. Even on retest, these numbers stayed pretty close to each other and I didn't really have any complaints as far as the performance goes. All of that goes completely out the door when we look at Steel Series. Their 1% lows were consistently absolutely atrocious in comparison to the average frame rate. For example, you can look here and I'll hover over the metal uh, CPU benchmark as an example, metal is at 83% for the 1% lows, meaning that 1% of the time, the frame rate is 83% of the average. Basically, the lower the 1% low average FPS is, the more stuttery and less smooth the gameplay is going to feel. That's represented in this number down here. You can see for SteelSeries CPU benchmarks, the 1% lows were 70% or 71% below the average, meaning that gameplay is probably going to feel a bit less smooth when you're using Steel Series, This type of splitting is the same for the GPU side. You can see here it's at 70% again, roughly. And all the other ones here are much closer in their split between the average and the 1% lows. Just to make sure everybody understands, that means that on average, using Steel Series software while playing Tarkov will make it feel less smooth in comparison to if you're using Metal or Wolf's Outplayed or NVIDIA Shadowplay in comparison to normally. For some reason, I, I'm not I'm not really sure why SteelSeries is so inconsistent with its performance in comparison to the other options available. The funny thing is, is something that I was going to mention that was negative about Metal and Outplayed is that they both had advertisements that would plague the menus and plague some of your overlays too, making it a pain in the ass if I wanted to actually, you know, have this open in the background. I was assuming that having these ads would significantly decrease my performance, especially if I just had it open in the background, but really wasn't the case. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Whereas when I went to SteelSeries, for some reason, even though there was no sort of advertisement here, 
it was a significantly worse experience for performance, and that is excluding their Sonar software, which if you've been around in, say, the Tarkov scene, you've probably heard of. I decided to exclude that to give Moments the best possible chance that I could give it. Regardless, though, that was the results that I found. Everything was pretty much all right, except for Steel Series Moments, which is a shame because in all my PC Sherpa guides, I tend to find moments as a pretty consistent application that people use for clipping. So if there was one recommendation that I could give is to not use that for the time being. Now though, I want to get to the point of video to try to help you decide what you want to use, whether you want to use shadow play or metal or outplayed or even steel series moments. I will say one thing that I really liked about outplayed is your ability to fully customize your recording. You can choose the resolution and the bit rate and the frame rate, but also choose a bunch of different options down here too. They include a ton of different options for the encoder. There's actually less than I remember. I'll put a screenshot on screen with actually how many I saw. And also a lot of different presets you can choose from based on what you want to you know, how much performance you want to lose. Overwolf also has obviously something that they market a lot, the editing tool that you can use to edit your projects and export them right here, which again is your own personal preference. I can't really touch on that too much, but as far as the settings go for capturing, they have a pretty good selection. This is where Steel Series GG and Metal sort of fell off for me. Metal didn't do too bad because they had a bunch of different options here that you could choose from and you could say set all of your settings and choose your bit rate and your fps this was all okay the only thing that i didn't like is that they didn't label like nvank x264 etc for the encoders but let you choose here so I, I mean that's that's all right steel series moments though just threw that all out of the window like there's there was no option here that i could find to change the encoder to cpu versus gpu or anything like that. In five seconds of Googling before I actually decided to hit the record button, I decided to look up what they said about this encoder. As you can see, my awesome Google skills came to this link right here, where they simply say that Moments uses a section of your graphics card dedicated to encoding video. So it's using NVENC as far as I can tell, that would be the smart thing to do, but again, they don't give you any sort of option to choose. I'm assuming it's because of their CRF encoding where they try to make clips stay lossless pretty much by adjusting the bit rate to maintain similar quality. Still, if they wanted that, they should allow the user to make that choice for themselves. The good thing though about NVIDIA Shadowplay, even though I hate it so, so much, is that you can choose a good bit of settings here. You can set the resolution, set the frame rate, set the bit rate, pretty much the same thing as the rest, except you can't change the encoder. It's just gonna use the NVIDIA GPU. The plus side to this though, is that you don't have to worry about installing any more software or anything like that because you're probably installing GeForce Experience already. So it's just there, kind of nice. But again, obviously this is only for NVIDIA GPU. So there's that too. So at the end of the day, you might be asking Clem, what do you recommend? I would say that pretty much any clipping software besides SteelSeries is pretty good and should be fine if you just want to clip your gameplay. The performance deficit from Steel Series just doesn't make it worth it in my opinion. Unless you're using this Steel Series app because you have Steel Series hardware, I would not recommend installing it right now. If things change in the future, then I might be keen to testing it again and seeing if this is worth it, but it just doesn't seem like it right now. I would probably use Metal right here if you want to constantly clip things and easily share them with your friends as you can upload them to their platform and then have it stored there. You don't have to worry about it. And then of course, Outplayed is nice if you want to have a bit more customizing ability with your settings here, along with being able to edit your clips straight inside of their software. The one negative that I would say with Metal and Outplayed, like I said previously, is the ads. So if you don't like having the ads at all, I would recommend probably running with Shadowplay. Regardless, I think most of these clipping softwares will be fine for you, but I would steer clear of Steel Series because of just this odd performance behavior that I was witnessing for a while on other people's systems, but never actually went and tried to test for myself. But yeah, that's it. I'll try not to make this video too long. Hopefully this isn't that long in post, but yeah. If this helped you make your decision at all, make sure to hit the like, subscribe down below. I'll be making more different guides about a bunch of different stuff coming soon and probably a PC Sherpa episode coming next week. So be ready for that. And yeah, for now, thank you for watching. Please don't use the SteelSeries software for now. 
and this will be Clem clocking out. Later.